Hey ladies and gentlemen, you got Nick here with Nick's Yard Care. Uh, today I wanted to give my honest opinion on the mow and go system since I have actually got it installed correctly this time. Uh, if you look at my future videos, I was complaining about it and I had a lot of trouble with it. But since uh, about a month ago, I finally did it, got it installed correctly and got it uh, leveled out and I have had no issues with it now guys. Now, uh, when you order it, you do not get this spring free. Get it. Let me show you here. This right here is mm, somewhere around 100, 150 pounds of weight. Without that spring, it is incredibly heavy. Look at this. This is one handed, guys. Actually, it's fighting me right now. All right. That was one handed, plus it was fighting me, so I had to push it down. Another again. One handedly on the way up. But without that, man, I promise you it took it'll take you and another person by the end of the day to pick it up and close it and open it back up. Very heavy gate, very well made. Uh, you need to give the guy a call, you know, if that's what you're looking for. Um, my honest opinion on it, it is well worth the money. My only regret with it is I didn't do it a year ago. It made my life so much easier, especially when you're doing the city work. I don't know, some of y'all might be in rural areas where you can pull a 16 and 18 foot trailer all day long. I can pull a trailer too, but it's just a pain in the butt. Uh, I used to pull a six and a half by 12, and I'd get in so many predicaments in these small communities. Uh, for instance, I had one community that took a 15 point turn in a cul-de-sac. It was meant for a golf cart, not a truck and trailer. Now it just takes a three-point turn when I'm in that same community. But the setup I have here, guys, you should be able to, at any time, uh, sing a one-man company or even a two-man. You're running in the city, especially a one-person. There is no reason why you should not be able to put a 36-inch rider in here, both standard or walk behind um, of course, I got the trimmer racks over there. I can put uh, links to those in the uh, comments. I bought them off of Amazon. I've got the Jungle Gym uh, handheld blower rack. It works out great. And I did do this. Some people might want to see. That's just a shelf made out of one by six decking that goes over my wheel well that holds my uh, utility box. No, it's just a rack that holds my gas cans. Okay. I, so I don't lose dead space. And when you're just running a truck by itself, you have dead space if you're not careful. You learn something new every day. And uh, for those of y'all that just do garden homes all day, two-man crew be perfect for this. You get rid of your trailer, you can put your 221s in it, 230-inch in it, or 30-inch uh, and 221s, you know, any combination. It's just... Uh, Ever how you want to run it. You got room for either two trimmers or a trimmer and a edger, uh, a blower, of course. I do carry a chainsaw up there with my two stroke and my regular fuel. I do carry a cone. But guys, this is, to me, this is probably the best setup, and I wish I'd done it years ago. Uh, I do a lot of uh, suburb work in the uh, Birmingham area. And I just run a 36 inch mark, walk behind with the uh, riding attachment. But guys, that's what I think you should get. Uh, now, granted, a trailer, uh, what is a six and a half by 12, is going to run you roughly $2,000, $2,200. I bought this painted with the extras and everything, including the hitch. I got about $2,600 in this. And I should have spent that a long time ago instead of buying a trailer. I don't run a trailer at all now. If I can't do it with my truck, I don't need it. I don't need the job. And even if you're in the north, you do garden homes all year long mowing. You can put you a small snow thrower in the bed of your truck and go do driveways throughout the uh, winter time in it. And if you uh, happen to have a little bit bigger yard, granted I have that shelf in there. But if you have a little bigger yard, you can put a 42 inches regular old riding lawnmower in it just to knock it out. I'm, or even a 42 inch zero turn if you wanted to tempt it, you know. I, 
I wouldn't want to take a zero turn up down the ramps, but you know, that's just me. But it could be done, and I've seen it done. And uh, if you watch Al Blaze, uh, Blades of Grass on YouTube, he actually runs a Toro Grandstand Revolution, which is the electric standard mower. It's 48 inches. He runs it right out of his truck just like this. And there is a lot of people out there that do this now, guys, and it's becoming more and more popular. If you see the bigger companies in towns, they run these Zuzu NPRs and these uh, GMC top kick trucks with uh, landscape beds or even the uh, box truck bed with ramps on it. It's a reason why they do that. They've... The people that own these companies realize in cities it's just a lot easier not to have to deal with the trailer. Get what you can and, you know, and go. Yes, this is my personal truck. If I need to, I can take this gate off within a half hour and 10 minutes, 15 minutes for the other things, and I'm good to go. If I want to take them off, I don't. I just travel with them. They're not going nowhere. Uh, now, if you do have a Ram truck, especially if it's 2012 or newer you're not gonna have rear leaf springs somebody in the office thought hey let's put coil springs on a truck not a car damn it come on people but you'll have to put air springs inside of your coil springs let me see if i can get you in here to see this you see that guys that's just a air spring and that right there, you have to put it on each side. I, I run 25 to 30 pounds of air. If you do not, time you put your stuff on it in your mower and this on it, you're on the bump stops, even though you have plenty of weight left in your uh, gross vehicle weight rating. So keep that in mind. You can get them on Amazon for, I think it was $100 for the kit. Granted, you'll have to be careful because I did have one leak, and I, the only way to get it out is to cut it out. And of course, they're not going to take cut out parts back, so you had to buy another kit. So, guys, that's what we got. Uh, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a comment, either how you feel or this feel. It's all good any way you look at it, guys. God bless, and y'all have a great day.